The guy that was running in my race, he switched parties in the first two years five different times. He ran for president in 2020 under the Green Party while Donald Trump was running for re-election, of course. So he was thinking he was better than our president. And yet he dupes people and all of a sudden makes people think that Joe is all of a sudden a Republican and he's a Trump supporter. But all of a sudden, within two years, you switch parties and you expect people to believe that you're so-called the savior and you're a Republican. You're the guy that's going to take down Maxine Waters. I'm sorry, but you're not going to do that. And by the way, your body fluids are not worth $15 million. Just be a man and pay the child support that you owe for the children you bear. I don't have children out of wedlock first place. I marry women and then have kids. And by the way, I don't spend $750,000 on fundraising and then spend $150,000 staying on lavish days at the Ritz Carlton and flights and then pay another $250,000 to a consultant and spend only $3,000 on voter outreach. That was a disgusting thing for my, one of my opponents. Even more disgusting than the horrible things that Maxine Waters is doing. But he's posing as he's a Navy sailor, but he was dishonorably discharged. Not honorably discharged. And by the way, when he goes off and says curse words to Candace Owens. I have no respect for Candace. Stop saying that shit. It makes you look like a fucking idiot. It makes you look like a sellout. And that's exactly what you are. And we get sick and tired of all the time hearing your ass talk the same crap. And shut the hell up. Period. And I completely disagree with him. Because someone like Candace Owens has been stepping up for black Americans. At the end of the day, facts are facts. And that's the truth.